What up, though? Heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Man, they is on Miss Mulatto head today, man. Early this morning, Sunday morning, man. Miss Mulatto or Mulatto, Big Lotto, that's what they call her, man. Y'all know um, Miss Mulatto, though, man. She used to be on the rap game with, um, what's my man's name? Jermaine Dupree. They had the little show. She did that. She got into a little rap beef with, with Super Peach. But they is on her head this morning, man. You know how Twitter do, man. They get you early in the morning. They say she is out here stealing weave. Well, stealing some hair or something like that, man. Um, The girl right a here. Wig. Huh? A wig. a wig. Yeah, stealing weave. Baby. Wigs. Um, Her friend name is, or the girl she stole the wigs from is um, Deborah Liani. It's a hairdresser. It's a hairdresser. Oh, that's what she stole it from. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting the facts today. <laughs> um, I'm home today. But... Right. Um, Mulatto. She said, Mulatto legit stole um, my hair two years ago, and I've just been pim watching her. What does pim mean? Pim? You know, I don't know. Okay. She's been pim watching her blow up. LOL. She's blocked us. What a loser. Um, had the nerve to say that, that was two years ago, like my money changed in two years. Get the F out of here, silly B. That's what she said to her, man. That is crazy. She said she took the hair and ran off with it. Loosely, Mulatto responded saying that a hairdresser of hers stole a lot of wigs from her. So mm. I guess she feels like she's not responsible because her hairdresser stole hair from her. Right. But why should you get something in your possession... And then not be responsible to pay the person. So she didn't want to pay. I, I seen it. With, it started getting crazy on there. I seen it. It started getting racist on Twitter. They talking about the girl named Ben Mulatto. Or her name. Why didn't take it there? They, that's how Twitter do, man. So I, stop the racism. That's what I want to get. That's, that that's point irrelevant. That's irrelevant. Yeah, it is. But I seen it start getting racist on Twitter. But um. My first thought was, is if you're still a man, you'll steal some hair. She stole a man. She wasn't she fucking with maybe uh, maybe I'm wrong. Wasn't she fucking with um Cardi Man at one point? Damn, I don't know. Her? I'm talking about weave. You talking about stealing mans? Wasn't that her? If I'm wrong, y'all just put it in the chat. Yeah, but I kill, kill, kill me in the chat for it. <laughs> I could have swore there was a story some time back about her fucking with Cardi B dude. Oh, what's the day offset? Offset. That's crazy, man. She's stealing weave. She's stealing dudes. No, but seriously, if you have something in your possession. You're responsible for it. And if you got it like that, why not just pay her? Ain't that half of the law? Ain't that what they say? Half of the law is possession? possession yeah. So them, them a lot of weaves. Why would you? At, what, at that point when she received it, she was responsible for it. Oh. And you you, you yourself are saying you, she's waited till you blow up to say yeah. something about it. Who cares if it was two years ago? If you owe that girl money, you owe that girl money. Why she wait two years though? Well, she waiting for it to put it, her to put it on a credit report? I don't know. I, I paid her her money. I'd have been saying something about my money. Like if, if I was, if I blew up, you know, I'm sure what one people out there saying I owe them money. I'd be like, here, just take the shit and shut up. Meow, meow. Cat fights, man. They gonna be fighting all motherfucking week over this stuff. I believe, man. Um, I look, he believe the girl. Cause why would she still be salty about the hair if Malata didn't steal it? Clout. Yeah, but still. Maybe clout. Because mm. she, Milano ain't really denying she had that hair. She's saying her hairdresser stole a bunch of wigs. She did. So she's kind of admitting she owes her the money in a, in a little bit of roundabout way. She's just saying it's two years ago, get a, get over it. But but money, you know, money's different to different people. Right. I don't know how much the wig was. Let's just say $500, okay? Mm hmm. Um,. Five hundred dollars to one person means the world, and to another, is, you know, they wipe their ass with it. Look at Mr. Window. Here, have a dollar. <laughs> the fact, our brother man here have to. But I'm saying, that's wild, man. That's the story, though, man. Uh, Miss Mulatto is out here stealing weaves, allegedly. I don't know if it's true or not, but they going through a hundred um, female online. What, what was that tweet at again? Hold on, I gotta find this tweet again. Oh, that's the hair stealing. This tweet right here. Deborah Le Leanna, I, I don't know how to say the girl name, man, but I don't know. We're going to be talking about this story right here and more right here on this channel Friday, man. I go live every Friday with Talk That Talk um, at 9 p.m. Come through, man. Hit the like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through and fuck with your boy. Heist Man the Foe. Talk That Talk. Ghetto News and Opinions with Charlene in the background. Today. Peace.